My name is Richard Uslin. I'm an experienced criminal and municipal court defense attorney in Somerville, New Jersey, and I've been doing this for over 30 years. If you're watching this video, uh, you were arrested for a drug-related crime or offense in Morristown. And in an earlier video, I discussed uh, ways of uh, attacking uh, the search and seizure of the drugs from you. Uh, in this video, I'm going to discuss scientific evidence that could be used to defend you. Uh, that's going to be uh, in one of two ways. Uh, the first scientific evidence is the case where the drugs have been uh, obtained from you uh, and they've brought, been brought to the chemist uh, at the state police laboratory for testing. Uh, the first thing that you have to do that any experienced defense attorney is going to do is order the complete records of that chemist. I have a chemistry background. I know how to read those reports. I know how to challenge mass spectroscopy and understand other ways the chemist is going to try to demonstrate that what was recovered from you was an illegal substance. Another way to uh, challenge these uh, uh, drug offenses uh, is in the instances where the claim is that the drugs were in your system, in your bodily system. Uh, one way of doing that uh, is for the police to collect blood. The police will generally use a blood, a blood kit that they will give to a phlebotomist at a hospital. That phlebotomist is going to have to draw that blood in a medically acceptable manner. And any experienced defense attorney is going to obtain all the hospital records uh, pertaining to the collection of that blood, as well as uh, obtain the uh, blood kit itself. Now, depending upon where the blood has been collected, whether it's a police blood kit or from the hospital, the blood may be analyzed entirely differently. We're talking about the difference between whole blood and serum blood. That could be of significance in your case as well. Uh, another way that the uh, state is going to claim that there was an illegal substance in your body is through urine. Uh, and in that event, uh, the way that they're going to try to claim this oddly enough is by using what are, is obvious, a waste material. The urine that uh, they collect isn't going to contain active drug ingredients. In fact, they're going to be inactive metabolites. So there certainly may be a reasonable doubt whether or not you are under the influence of something that is inactive. Uh, that's uh, something that any experienced defense attorney is going to be able to try to challenge. Uh, the state also, the prosecution also uses or attempts to use DREs, drug recognition evaluators. Their expertise must be vigorously challenged. And if the judge still allows them to testify about their opinion, you need an experienced attorney who knows what they're going to say so you can challenge what their opinion is. I've been doing this for over 30 years as an assistant Essex County prosecutor and as a municipal prosecutor. Uh, if there are any more questions that you would like to ask, I look forward to helping you in this case.